Here's another one that I will not seek publication for, but it's kind of au courant, as they say. A little magic realism in the time of COVID. The statue looked just like Martin, smooth head with that fringe over the ears, a Franciscan, the way he could sometimes look, especially wholly around animals. The injured and the old were his most beloved. Someone had looped a mask around the ears of the shiny black statue, his left hand raised as if to hail a cab, so only the kind eyes and perfectly trimmed eyebrows were visible. There was no attribution, no plaque, to tell me who he was, but he was obviously hip to the pandemic, unlike Martin, who refused to wear a mask when we went out. I took out my phone and snapped a picture of the Martin lookalike, intending to demonstrate to Martin that even inanimate objects knew to stay safe. But I realized a picture like that wasn't going to sway him, so I tucked in to the cool hand folds, to the cool hard folds of the unknown statue's jacket and vest so that his upraised arm rested on my shoulder and took a selfie of us. I still wasn't satisfied that Martin would get it, so I turned my face to the kind-eyed man and wrapped my right arm around his rigid side, tilted my head up as if to invite a kiss, mask to mask, stretching out my left arm to snap a selfie like that. The iron or steel seemed to soften against my belly, and I sunk deeper into the staged embrace. A soft moan emanated from within, and with a quiet rustle, his extended arm retracted and floated down to settle against my back. The dark eyes closed and opened again, this time shifting to gaze directly into my own eyes. My left arm, still out straight, went rigid, my thumb on the shutter circle jittering a hundred pictures. His eyes crinkled, a kind, knowing smile, his chest now rising and falling with his breathing, his belly soft against mine. I've been waiting for you. His voice had a tinge of Eastern European, a resonant baritone, perfectly at ease with itself. And I for you, my words as clear as his behind our masks. I lay my cheek against the rough warmth of his vest, and there I stayed, limbs slowly solidifying, breath halted, my torso fused. Thanks for listening.